Welcome back. It's time for Under 30 as we go to the quantum space to look at Rigetti making a massive move on the heels of a corporate news headline that's exciting investors. For more on the subject, we welcome in Schwab Network contributor Sam, uh, Sam Vadas uh, to the program here. Uh, Sam, this is a fun one. We talked about this a lot towards yeah. the end of last year when it made a huge run up. It retraced, but it's making another run at those highs. What's the story behind this move? It sure is having its moment in the sunshine at the moment, uh, Alex, up about 30 percent or so, uh, about 16 bucks and change right now off the back of reporting a big breakthrough. So what it has now revealed is stronger performance in its latest system. And this is important, obviously, because it shows real progress. That is what the street is wanting to see when it comes to this more powerful computing, when it comes to uh, the whole quantum computing uh, space here. And so as far as the details are concerned, it successfully demonstrated the biggest multi-chip now computer, uh, quantum computer so far, and also achieving a significant reduction in error rates. So fewer uh, mistakes at a 99.5% accuracy rate. So that's a big improvement because uh, what is new to me is that quantum computers typically have a lot of errors. Now, this is a massive technical breakthrough, uh, certainly for this company. Uh, this is to do with its uh, 36 quantum bit system that is planned to launch uh, on August the 15th. So it's on track also to to release a 100 plus quantum bit system by the end of the year. The big question is whether we can continue to see this uh, run when it comes to the stock off the back of those launches as well, because uh, it's up over the year, uh, over 1,200%, uh, which is uh, quite remarkable. Uh, there's been a lot of interest, uh, as you mentioned, uh, with regards to the quantum computing space. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of attention on some of these companies because everybody wants to see, uh, you know, more processing power than sort of the traditional uh, computer systems. Uh, obviously, they've seen some pretty high-profile remarks coming from the likes of Jensen Huang, for instance, who at the start of the year sort of, I suppose, stopped the momentum in its tracks a bit, sort of suggesting that people who were into this were a little bit ahead of their time, but uh, sort of changed his tune uh, on that as well now. But uh, over the last year, this has very much emerged as a very hot topic. And I think that very much speaks uh, to what we've seen as far as the run, run up in some of these companies. Rigetti has become uh, a name very much associated with this trend. Uh, we are going to get some insights into some of the most closely watched companies in this space over the next few weeks or so as we start to get those earnings uh, from the quantum computing space. Rigetti, I believe, uh, is reporting early August. What the street wants to hear, obviously, is uh, they want to get a bit of an update on the progress towards commercialization because uh, they do want to set apart the companies who are sort of heading in the direction of becoming more commercial or who are sort of still stuck in uh, the phases of working on some of their systems. Now, uh, just as far as the broader industry is concerned, I do believe there are estimates over at McKinsey & Co., for instance, for quantum computing to generate generate $1.3 trillion in economic value by the middle of the next decade. So no doubt these companies are well positioned uh, for that. But as far as Regretti is concerned, they're very research focused. Uh, there is a view that uh, commercially they are lagging right now, but no doubt uh, the breakthrough we've seen today uh, is helping the stock along this today. Uh, up 30%, as I mentioned this afternoon, guys. Yeah, I mean, a phenomenal move to the upside. It feels like finally maybe the street is giving credit where credit is due, as this was what they thought was their biggest quantum breakthrough ever. So while we may be years away from some of the mass applications of quantum computing, I do think a really powerful chart that speaks to, I mean, the, the enthusiasm, especially today. So really great insight on that entire space. One will definitely get more clarity on, hopefully, when we get these companies reporting, as you said. Sam Vadas, contributor here for The Network.